say for example if you, you, you made a batch of linings ready to fit to yeah. put into hats if there's any excess you just put a little pleat matter. in it doesn't have to be just no. it in that. you can just put little kind of like two or three little pleats in so equally felt that's nice but if it was on cinema and you wanted to put a lining in yeah you need to you wouldn't want to still see maybe what you stitched to it because cinema yeah. is very stitched isn't it yeah. so you just need you to do, do it you'd have to do fringe yeah. seams and things like okay. that yeah um in your line yeah, I get the uh, and you'd see the raw edge otherwise yeah. wouldn't you yeah. um so then you have two options stitch or glue I personally have always glued, but I know some people like to do stitching and things. So you can just, it's almost like a tacking stitch. You don't have to do really small, you know, kind of, you can do fairly big running stitches. Just attaching it. So with the felt, you're just catching the top of the felt here. The, um, I, I'm sure I've shown all of you, if not, I like to use my curly needle, which I make by just with a pair of pliers just bending the end so it turns into small jigs. It means then I can just catch the top of the felt without going all the way through. Um, so you can stitch it in or you can use rubbery Yoohoo glue or kind of a version of Yoohoo glue. Um, so put it, be very well with felt it's not too bad. Put your Yoohoo onto the felt, just let it go a little bit tacky first and then press it down because otherwise it'll splodge through the lining mm -hmm. and things. So we'll always let it go a little bit tacky first, but we'll try a little sample first. Anyway. A little knack to it, isn't that? Mm -hmm. back. Um, so that's a very quick rundown on linings. Mm -hmm. um, if um, the sheet that you've got on the front to do with finishing techniques, there are various ways. Um, oh, this actually shows, talks to you about putting a petit chemin, like a full crown, so a bit like girls hat that we have there. Yeah. For those of you I haven't spoken to, there's a bit about there. Elastic. So one common way of attaching small hats onto the head is just a hat elastic, which is just this round elastic, like this. Yeah, you can just think of it like this, yeah. And so it sits around the back like that and holds like that. Now you tend to be able to get it in blacks, browns, whites. White elastic you can colour, you can dye and to say you can kind of tone it with you know blondes and browns and things like that with waterproof pens, Pantone pens or dyes. Um, what you need to do is it sits under the Petersham. So you take your elastic, you can buy elastics, say from Baxter Heart and Abraham, which you've got little metal bits on the end, which are a bit more expensive, or you can just buy it in the roll from haberdashers. Um, so the ready-made ones come at already a, a ready-made length. But when you're doing it yourself, it tends to be around about 30 or so centimetres. It depends on the size of your hat. So you grab your bit of elastic, and just pull it around the two sides of the hat and it always, it never sits behind the centre points of the hat. So cut a bit that's a bit longer than what you'll need to give yourself a little bit of excess. About 30 centimetres. About 30, 40 centimetres. Um, so then, not in the end, Okay, and I tend to I find a dress, get a dressmaking pin and just poke it through the thread in the elastic there to make it into a needle. And I poke it up through one of the holes in the Petersham. Mm -hmm. So you go through one of the holes in the Petersham, but that's not what secures it. I stitch around the elastic, but still allowing it to move. Okay, so you need to make it. Size. Yes, so if you wanted to make it smaller, you could do. Yeah. And that knot holds it in place. And we go around here. First of all, though, you need to work out where the elastic is. So say you put the hat on your head. And you put your fingers at the halfway point. Okay. Now, on 
Halfway point of your head, not no, the no, of the hat. hat. Okay. So you see, that's my centre back. Yeah. So halfway point there, which for this side here, I'm pulling down on it. That feels fine, but this side feels a bit too far back. So, so I'm just going to move off. it a little bit further forward, and that feels more. So you can feel as you're pulling it down. And it usually is, that's usually the way. If it's on the side. If you want something necessarily sitting with their bed, if you want something really sitting very forward and quite yeah. dramatic, what do you do there? The comb okay. adds to that as well. Um, so elastic's probably not the best idea okay. for that, just because it's so lopsided. With something like this, it's still kind of, it's, it's, it's asymmetric, but it's still close enough to the top of the head. You can put both on. Yes. So this, for example, had elastic and a comb. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it tends to be the case that the side that's closest to the head is slightly further forward than the centre point. So when you've got those, you can put a little pin in just to mark it. Elastic in there. Then still with the pin on the end here, you can then feed that back through the Petersham under there and then do exactly the same there. But leave a few centimetres, say if you need to make it bigger, you can change the knot. Okay. So that's elastic. You can also do a similar thing by putting a little elastic loops, which, so say if you've got, for me it'd be no good because I've got straight, shortish hair, curvy grips. So if you've got somebody that's got, you know, kind of some curly hair or kind of English hair, yeah, that has got their hair putting up, you make just a little that makes loop yeah. like that, exactly the same. You poke it through the Petersham and do your stitch yeah, around it. That, you know, they're, they're like a piece of steel yeah. and then they clip in like that. You, use, you can use whatever you feel like. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you've kind of got her where it gets hidden in there. Yeah. So that might be a better option because it's a bit more invisible, but it, say, it depends who the hat's been made for. Yeah. So elastic is a very good neutral overall kind of one size fits all kind of result. So there's the elastic and elastic loops as well. So then there's the comb. Comb and elastic tend to be kind of quite good companions. Okay, so you've got the elastic kind of holding it there, but a comb just helps hold it in place. Saying that, actually, I've had hats where I've just had combs, like these two. These two have been hats that I've made for weddings in the past. And you saw the hair that I used to have, that big quiff. I would literally stick it in so just these kind of that you can buy from chemists and things as well as from jewellers and things you can get plastic combs or nice little metal ones and it just you stitch around the teeth into the body of the underneath of the body of the hat and the petersham like that so that it's curled that way mm. because if your hat is sitting at an angle or if it's going back like that you're wanting the comb to stop it. Imagine it was, especially if it's got lots of weight on it, if you had the hat there, it might start falling there. So the comb sits where it would stop it falling. So the, if it's going to be falling like that because of where I'm wearing it, the comb needs to be there. Okay. Whereas if I was wearing it like that, sitting on the back, the comb would be there. Going in the direction, weirdly, of the movement because... You don't back comb, but you kind of, as you're putting it on, you do a little bit of that, and it really does. I mean, even with my straight hair, yeah, it really does hold it there. So that mixed with elastic is quite good. And you can get clear combs and black, and you can cut them in half as well and things. Again, the curly needle is really good for that to help get you in and out. Okay, make sure that the, the thread's fairly taut because as you can see on this one it's all coming off a little bit and all looking very tatty and things. So make sure the thread is nice and taut on there. Okay. So combs and elastics tend to be the way to go. You can, if you're wanting a really foolproof hat, but it is a bit more visible, is Alice bands. Okay, so you can get your ready-made Alice bands that hats. So, for example, if you're wanting to provide a hat for a customer and they, they don't know what angle they have to wear to do things like that, it's foolproof, this, because the hat Probably is then yeah. sewn onto it. The thing is, with thin Alice bands like this, is it doesn't give you much space to sew it on. It's slightly thicker is better. But the only thing is that it's Is that football? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no! If anybody wants to get off earlier... Um, 
but it sounds like they're still going. Um, yeah, slightly thicker is better to say. It's, it is more, it's more of a visible thing. One really nice option is making your own Alice bands, which this is an Alice band with all sorts of things on. Wire Alice bands made out of the, the, the thick wire that you've been using for the edges of your hats. Yeah, this is still a bit too soft, this one, because you want it as firm and as thick as possible so it doesn't kink. Okay. So it's this kind of crescent moon shape, which as you can see, is slightly higher at the front than the back to allow for the ears. So as it goes on, it swings behind the ears. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. It also... So it's higher at the front. The yeah. Okay. And I know you've got that handout. I haven't got... I'm, I'm going to do more of these for after Easter, unless anybody's absolutely desperate to do it now. I do have a couple left. Um, yeah, so we have set kind of measurements and things that you can work with and adapt and things. The Alice band say, we you know we were talking before about kind of a hat always being on the trip. Um, this is an option for, as an alternative to a blocked hat, is this thing of creating an Alice band. So you can create things, wire structures that come off it that you can attach all sorts of things onto and things. The thing about this is it's slightly more invisible because it's the finer wire. You can wrap it just the same as you can wrap these ready-made ones in in kind of a, in a natural or velvet ribbon. Anyway. Um, the, the tool's great because it pulls around, um, my sample here, it pulls around kind of the Alice band really nice and taut. Velvet ribbon's good because it's friction, but it is more, a bit more bulky because of that. Um, and things, and with the tool net, you can choose, like if you've got a black Alice band, you can match the colour of the hair as well, so you could use white wire, colour it in kind of blonde or a brown colour and then wrap it with a, a natural matches that you can dye if you, if you have caught it and things. And it just makes it a bit more invisible. But also you have the seam on it. If you're doing it as a standard, you do the join at the back. 